In this video, you're going to see how to tie what we call the double leprechaun rig. It has other names too, a donkey rig, a tandem rig. But essentially what this is, is two soft plastic jerk baits, in this case Alabama leprechauns, rigged on the same line. So you're throwing them out at once. They have excellent darty motion. It generates a lot of interest. In many cases, this can catch the, the highest quantities of fish. Because again, it's, it's basically mimicking a school of bait underwater. They both look great, they're, they're darting all over the place, and surprisingly, they don't get twisted up with one another. That has been the biggest surprise, but it's essential to use this type of bait and rig it weedless. Having two versus one definitely helps it get picked up by predators, and again, when they see two fish moving, they're more likely to come in to uh, knowing that they're going to have a higher chance of getting, uh, getting a good meal. And so, th there's multiple ways to rig this up, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you what I found to be the easiest way. All right, so now to tie it. So here's all we need, all right? Very basic. All we need are the lures, some line, and some scissors. As for the lures, you have multiple options, and I've just, just recently started experimenting with different, different options, so I'll be curious to, uh, to know your thoughts on those who have used this. So you can use the same weighted hook. I, I do recommend the weighted hooks. It just makes sure that the, the lure's keeled a little bit better, where it's not gonna be doing the, the helicopter, which does not look good. Um, and so this is a three, the top one is a 3 16 ounce uh, three yacht hook from owner. This bottom one is the same thing, it just has a heavier weight, so it's a 1 8 ounce. And so what I've been actually liking a little bit better is the heavier weight up front. That way the front one rides a little bit lower and you can basically cover two water columns at the same time. So, and yes, you can rig the same weight, right? They'll stay more in line with each other, which is great. Um, or you can even do the heavier at the back too. I've done that as well and, and they all seem to work. Um, I'll just be curious to get your thoughts on which one you think works better. So far, I really haven't been able to tell much of a difference um, other than I just seem to prefer the, the theory, at least, that the, the bottom one, or the, the heavier one up front can cover the deeper stuff while, while the lighter one in the back can sit up a little bit higher and, uh, and hopefully pick off some, uh, some fish that are feeding more up top versus the bottom. All right, so step number one, we're just gonna grab one of them. It doesn't matter which one, and we're gonna tie it off to the line, off the tag of the line that's out of the spool. And for this knot, I highly recommend loop knots, right? Loop knots are gonna give these lures as much action as possible. That's a good thing. That's the more action, the more strikes is generally the, the, the theory for, uh, for jerk baits like this. So non-slid loop knot is uh, the easiest knot to do, plus it's weedless. And so tie, first tie the, a quick loop, just a basic overhand loop. Next, you just thread the line through the eye. And I like to get that loop about the size of, half the size of like an M&M, you're gonna get it pretty small. Go through the loop, and then you go around twice, go around the tag, the main line twice, and then go back through that loop, right? Very basic, and then pull it tight. And so you'll see that the tag end is facing back. So in this case, we are going to cut this tag end off. Let me switch it in this hand. This is the normal way I do it. So cut it off, right? You can leave a little bit. You just wanna make sure that that loop is free flowing, right? This tag end, is not impacting the lure. It is right there. This lure can now have all the action at once and it can move around uh, unimpeded by the line. So we got that. So now we're just gonna let out more line in here. I like to get about, say four feet or so. Doesn't have to be precise. Again, this is more of a kind of a more, more art than science when we get to this. And now cut it. And now on this tag end, we're gonna tie the other one, right? That's why this is so quick. You don't have to do anything crazy and have multiple lines to deal with. You just have one line one lure on the both sides, and so we're gonna do the same exact thing, right? Overhand knot first, then we're gonna thread this on, go through the loop, go around the main line twice, go back through the loop, pull it tight, pull it tight, tag in facing backwards. Now we're gonna cut that tag end off with our trusty scissors, and now we are good to go. So now, again, this other one, is free flowing, right? It's gonna have all the motion at once. And so now that both lures are on the same strand, the key is to now tie off a spot where we're gonna tie our main line off. And so what we do, so right now I'm holding it right in the middle, right? I'm holding the main line up the middle. So if I tied it here, these lures will be right on each other and bumping each other. We don't want that. So what I like to do is just pull one down, right? This other one is sliding up. You can have it where the tail is meeting the face. You can have a little bit of gap. It doesn't seem to matter all that much. I like to have it right about there where the tail is meeting the face. And so I'm just gonna keep my finger pinched where it was. So I was just pinching the line. And so now this is where we want to tie onto the main line, assuming, right? Assuming that we want the tail to meet the face of the next one. So that way they're perfectly in line. And, uh, and so simple as that. And so for this knot, 
we're basically just tying a knot in the middle of this line. And so for this knot, the surgeon knot is the easiest way to do it. It is, it is very simple. I'll just show you how to do it, right? We have the point that we want. And so we're just going to do an overhand knot. So with this loop, we're just going to do an overhand knot. And so that's one loop there. You can see it, right? You can see this is just a loop right here is where we're going to tie off. And it doesn't really matter so much the size of it. We just need to get the, the actual right spot. And so we're going to go through that loop again with the point. And there we are. So there's, it's called a double surgeon. You can do a third one. It gets just a little bit more difficult to do and two seems to get the job done. And then what we're going to do is we're going to just going to tighten this down. And so now we have our loop, right? We have our loop and that has these lures in tandem, right? Exactly where we want them. And they're going to have great action in the water. They're going to generate just a lot of, a lot of action and a whole lot of strikes. And so the final step is just to tie your main line onto this loop. And you can do it with really any knot, uh, just like the, the uni knot is, is what I personally use. But you can use any knot you trust like, that you would be tying onto, like a hook or a, or a swivel. Just tie it right there, and you are good to go, and you can be ready to catch a ton of fish. All right, so that's how to tie it, right? It's a super easy rig, it's very basic, and it is extremely effective, especially for sea trout over, sea, over seagrass. They absolutely demolish this thing. And in particular, this Alabama leprechaun is, at least in my opinion, the, uh, the ultimate way to go out there and just catch a ton of sea trout. And so if you haven't yet tried these leprechauns, we are offering one free pack for all saltwater anglers. So I'll put a link down below for that. We lose money on it, so just please don't take advantage of it. And if you need to get more, we have them on our tackle shop as well. So I'll put a link down below. Again, excellent, excellent baits. And when you do get these, we'll send you a mini course showing exactly how to use them, how to rig them for certain situations, and also when not to use them, when some other lures can be, uh, can be the better bet. But anyhow, hope you give this a try. This has been an absolute blast to fish with. And again, you can even catch two fish at once which is even cooler. If you have any questions at all, please leave a comment down below. And if you're new to Salt Strong, just know that we're the best fishing club in America because we actually guarantee that you'll catch more fish while saving money on all the tackle you need. We do this through premium education, our exclusive insider community, and huge discounts on the best tackle for saltwater anglers. To learn more, go to saltstrong.com. Otherwise, hope to see you again soon.